good morning students this is 12th standard botany video class video 8 in this video we are going to continue the lesson principles of ecology dear students in the previous video class we have seen different ecological adaptation the first ecological adaptation is hydrophytes what is hydrophytes plants living in the water is known as hydrophytes based upon the structural modification they are divided into different types and their characteristic which are also we have seen in the previous video class then morphological anatomical and physiological variation is also we have seen in the previous video class now we are going to see the next ecological adaptation of plants that is xerophytes that means plants living on the desert region is known as xerophytes zero that means absence of water dear students see the topic xerophytes what are xerophytes important two mark question plants which are living in the dry or xeric condition is known as xerophytes these xerophytic habitats are divided into different types there is two different types one is physical dryness another one is the physiological dryness so physical dryness means environmental factor physiological dryness means based on the function see that one physical dryness in this habitat soil which consists of only little amount of water due to inability of the soil holding that means sorry inability of the soil to hold water because of low rainfall so desert region there is no proper rainfall they will get only the low rainfall so that soil which consists of only little amount of water and also the soil which are showing the inability to hold the water second one physiological dryness in this habitat water is sufficient but plants are unable to absorb the water because the capillary action is absent in those plants example plants which are present in salty region and acidic soil the water is sufficient but they are unable to absorb the water that means the capillary action is absence so based on this two adaptive character physical dryness and physiological dryness xerophytes are classified into three category one is epimeral succulent and non succulent plant this is the important two mark question and also three mark and five mark question based on the adaptive character xerophytes are divided into three types epimeral succulent and non succulent first one epimerals so they are otherwise known as drought escapers or drought evaders so these plants which are complete their life cycle within the short period see the diagram this is the argimon mexicana in tamil it is known as nai kadugu the yellow color flower and also it is a weed plant which is located in the empty area that is said to be argimon mexicana as epimeral so these epimeral plants are known as drought escapers or drought evaders that means the plants which are completing their life cycle within the short period that means only one season single season so these plants are known as
epimerals they are not true xerophytes example archimon mexicana mollugo tribulus and teprosia next one succulent plants they are known as drought enduring plants so epimerals are known as drought escapers or drought evaders isn't it yeah the succulent plants are known as drought enduring plants in these plants during the dry period they are storing their water in the plant pots and also these plants which are produced at an adaptive character to survive in the extreme drought condition example opanchia chapati kelli alo breophyllum and begonia so these plants are known as succulent or drought enduring plants so they are stored the water in their plant pots and meet out the problem during the dry condition and also the plant pot is also modified into certain adaptive characters to resist against drought condition example opanchia alo breophyllum and begonia next one non succulent these plants are known as drought resistant plants or true xerophytes two mark question which plants are known as true xerophytes give reason non succulent plants are known as drought resistant plants or true xerophytes these plants face the problem in both internal and external dryness they have many adaptive character to resist against the dry condition example casuarina tamil savukku nerium arli chedi zizipus kalakai chedi and acacia karvelamaram so these are all the different plants which are showing the dryness in both external and internal so these plants are known as true xerophytes dear students write the different types of xerophytes based on their habitat or adaptive character is a important five mark question first one epimeral they are not true xerophytes they are complete their life cycle within the short period or single season they are known as drought escapers or drought evaders second one succulent these plants which are storing their water in the plant pots and resist against the dry condition or dry period those plants are known as drought enduring plants third one non succulent they are known as drought resistant plants or true xerophytes they face the problem in both external and internal dryness for that they are developed many adaptive character resist dry condition example casuarina dear students see the diagram yellow plant is the first one succulent xerophyte second one non succulent perennial example zizipus that means kalaka marrow next we are going to see morphological adaptation in root of xerophytes so in this xerophytic plants the vegetative organ root is well developed when the growth of the root is greater than that of the stem the root has and the root cap also well developed because with the help of the root as only they are absorbing water and mineral salts it penetrates uh, roots so deep of the soil and absorb the water from the soil with, with the help of the root as so root as are well developed with the root caps dear students see the points given here what is trichophyllous plants trichome which means air like outgrowth So in xerophytic plants, the leaves and stems are covered with hairs. 
that type of plants are known as trichophilus plants phyllus means leaf and stem are covered with what is that one trichome or like outgrowth example cucurbits that means cucurbit is a family pumpkin bottle gourd bitter gourd watermelon cucumber everything belongs to the family known as cucurbits another example melothria and mukia mark it down in your textbook what is trichophilus plants the xerophytic plants the leaves and stems are having the hair like outgrowth they are known as trichophilus plants next one the morphological characters of a stem in xerophytes in most of the plants the stem is hard and also woody the stem may be aerial or it is buried under the soil that is underground most of the stem and leaves are covered with waxy coated to prevent the transpiration that means loss of water and also the stem and leaves are covered with dense hairs that is known as what is that one trichophilus plants then in some plants the internodal region of the stem is modified into fleshy leaf structure called phylloclad in acacia sorry phylloclad in opuntia that means some xerophytes all the internodal regions in the stem are modified into fleshy leaf like structure is known as phylloclad example opuntia in some of the plants the two internodes are occasionally modified into fleshy green structure called cladode example asparagus in some plants petiole is modified into fleshy leaf like structure called pilode in acacia melanoxylon there is carvela marum so this are all the different modification special type of modification you have studied in the 11th standard so these three are the characteristic feature of xerophytic plants morphological adaptation of stem of xerophytes phylloclad cladode and phyllode dear students see the diagram first one opuntia the internodal regions are modified into leafy flesh, fleshy leaf like structure is known as flat end leaf like structure is known as succulent stem the totally the leaves are modified into sharp pointed spines so this type of stem is known as phylloclad another one non succulent perennial caparis non succulent perennial plant caparis see the leaves are absent leaves are modified into spines so that is said to be non succulent perennial plants caparis third one cladode of asparagus that means the nodes are surrounded by a scale leaves leaves are modified into small scale like leaves that is known as cladode of asparagus another one phyllode of acacia the tip of the leaf which is modified into flat and bulged green like structure is known as phyllode or sometimes the tip of the sorry the stalk of a leaf is known as petiole which is modified into phyllode so these are all the different types of stem modification to adapt the dry condition that is modification of stem in the xerophytic plants next one leaves most probably leaves are look like leathery that means hair like outgrowth leathery and look like shiny to reflect the light and heat 
in some plants the leaves are modified into thorns or spines example euphorbia acacia zizipus and capparis in these plants the stipules what is stipules at the base of the petiole a pair of appendages are present they are look like green in color hair like outgrowth these stipules are modified into spines in these plants to reduce the rate of transpiration in some plants the entire leaf is modified into spines that is opuntia chapatically or reduced to scale like substance in asparagus so this is all the different arrangement of xerophytic leaves dear students next we are going to see the anatomical adaptation of xerophytes here the epidermis is many layered or multi layered and possess heavy cuticle to prevent the water loss due to transpiration then below the epidermis the region which constitute the hypodermis which is well developed it, and also made up of with sclerangi matter tissue then both end the upper and lower epidermis they contain sunken stomata so sunken stomata means stomata which is embedded in the side of the cortex region is known as sunken stomata this type of stomata which is present only in the lower epidermis in that cavity they contains number of hair like outgrowth those cavity is known as sunken pit that means the stomata which is embedded in the inner side of the cortex which is form a cavity like structure known as sunken pit in that pit they are having hair like outgrowth then some kinds of succulent plant the scoto active type of stomata is present what is scoto active stomata normally the stomata open at day time and closes at night time but in some of the succulent plants stomata closes at day time and opens at night time that type of stomata is known as scoto active type of stomata which is found in the xerophytic plants that is succulent plant then vascular bundle such as xylem and phloem are well developed and also they are covered by several layer of bundle sheath in leaf the mesophyll is differentiated into palisade and spongy parenchyma in succulent xerophytic plants the stem possesses water storage region so this are all the different anatomical adaptations of xerophytic plant dear students see the diagram this is the ts of nerium leaf outermost layer is epidermis which is more than one layer multi layered epidermis which are surrounded by a thick cuticle inner to the multi layer epidermis made up of with palisade parenchyma and spongy parenchyma that is mesophyll tissue then the lower epidermis which consists of sunken stomata the stomata which are embedded in the cortical region or mesophyll region each stomata surrounded by a two god cells then this stomata which is present in the cavity is known as sunken pit or a cavity which contains number of hair like outgrowth is known as trichomes then lower epidermis is only one layer covered with cuticle region that is said to be the ts of nerium leaf is a important diagrammatic question next one a leaf of peperomia is a succulent leaf the outermost layer is known as epidermis it is divided into two layer upper epidermis and lower epidermis below the upper epidermis two to three layer of cells which are stores the water content 
so they are known as water storage cell then below the water storage cell it is differentiated into palisade parenchyma and spongy parenchyma then the lower epidermis is single layer surrounded by a cuticle region so this is the another diagrammatic question that is succulent leaf of peperomia next one physiological adaptations of xerophyte so most of the functional processes are organized to reduce the rate of transpiration that means all the physiological functions are designed to reduce the rate of transpiration the life cycle is completed within the short period for example epimerals they are complete the life cycle in a single season so that is said to be epimerals so this are all the physiological adaptations of xerophyte dear students morphological anatomical and physiological adaptations are very very important five mark question then the ts of nerium leaf and succulent leaf of peperomia ts is very very important diagrammatic question so after this we have seen morphological anatomical and physiological adaptations of xerophyte next we are going to see the mesophyte adaptation so the plants which are living the moderate condition that means neither too wet nor too dry these plants are known as mesophytes prob most probably they are commonly known as land plants example maize and hibiscus two example is given one for monocot another one for the dicot first one morphological adaptation root system is well developed with the root tars and root caps stem is generally aerial that is above the ground level stout and highly showing the branches then leaves are generally large broad thin with the different shapes these are all the three morphological adaptations of mesophytes next one anatomical adaptation cuticle which is present in the outermost layer of the epidermis which are moderately developed epidermis is well developed in all the anatomical character stomata are present in both epidermis upper epidermis and lower epidermis mesophyll is differentiated into palisade and spongy parenchyma vascular tissue such as xylem and phloem and mechanical tissues are fairly developed and also well differentiated so this role the anatomical adaptations of mesophytes next one physiological adaptation all the physiological functions are normal temporary wilting falling of the leaf from the plants is known as wilting taken place at normal room temperature when there is water scarcity so there is no sufficient water for plant growth means they are shed their leaves from the plants that is known as wilting next one tropophytes that means some plants which are behave like a xerophytes and some are and behave like a mesophytes or hydrophytes during rainy season those plants are known as tropophytes is important two more question during summer season they are act as a xerophytic plants during rainy season they are act as a mesophytes or hydrophytes dear students this are all the different morphological anatomical and physiological adaptations of mesophytes i hope have you all understood what i thought in the video class that is xerophytic plants and mesophytic plants up to this the lesson is over in the next lesson 
we will see in the next video class god bless you all the best children